Hello world, my name is Ben for AnyLogic 101, a quick video series where I share very quick tips and tricks on AnyLogic. In this one, we will talk about loading data in a very specific way. You probably know that you can load data into the database from various files. It's really robust, it works quite well, it's really fast, I like using it, it's very practical. But did you know that you could actually, in your database data columns, have columns that are not just strings, numbers, or booleans, but these kind of drop-down thingies. And this is what I want to show you today. So for example, assume in your input data, like this Excel file, you have uh, a column like my gender, which has very a limited set of options, male, female, and diverse, obviously. Um, in any logic, you can easily duplicate that with an option list, and you should be doing that. So you can create an option list, um, new and then option list, like this one. And if you create an option list and manually create 100% exactly the same entries that you have in your input data file, same uppercase, lowercase thing, and include all the options that are there in your data, you can do something very neat. So what you do is you typically just load your data. Let me delete this one. Let's start from scratch. We import our database table and say, yes, please load this Excel file that I'm interested in. So here it is. I'll just say, please, yes, load this table. And by default, AnyLogic loads this as a string, this column. It realizes, well, these are texts in Excel, so the my gender column is found as string. But actually, you can tell AnyLogic, look, this is not a string. This should be my option as gender. And if you switch to that, it will tell you, well, you might actually destroy your data or even delete the data. And this is why you need to be careful. The option list entries must match all the Excel file entries. But if they do, you can click, click yes, and your data will be reformatted. And now it is actual option list data. And you can't just enter other stuff here. You can't just write what you want anymore. You're now actually limited to the option list entries that you have. If in your Excel file you change the entries and they still conform to your option list, this will be reflected. If you change your input data and maybe add another um, gender here or something, or write something differently, then importing things will actually render the entire column void. It will not put any data in here. So you need to be careful. But if you keep those things in check, you can now in your model load all these entries already as option list entries. So it's very neat. I use it all the time and it's not really talked about. So I hope this was helpful and I see you soon.